All right, for my second video, I've made a few changes. Um, I didn't buy organic vegetables and fruits this time, um, mainly for a cost thing, and uh, at the stage I'm at, I don't think it matters. So what that did is that allowed me to get twice the volume for the same price. Also, second change I'm making, thanks to a friend of mine, Randy, thank you, Randy, is I was hung up on the fruits and I was neglecting uh, pretty much enlarged the vegetables. So I got a selection of vegetables and also from input from someone else, thank you, Miles, I got some seasoning to go in that hopefully will spice them up a little bit. I'll be honest, after, what, five, six days, I am not bothered by the fact that these are bland because I know they're healthy and I know they're doing me a lot of good, so I don't mind it. But I think in a long-term thing, uh, how they taste probably matters. So I wanna try to experiment with different flavors so that they're more palatable. Now, what I'm doing today, as I've done before, is I'm gonna make two of them. I'm gonna make my breakfast one, which you see here, and I'm gonna make my lunch one, which is just started here. That way, it, it's a less of a pain in the ass when you wash everything afterwards, it, it's kind of it gets to be a hassle. So I'm gonna do it once. So the additions, I'll do this before I blend these. The additions I made for the lunch and dinner ones is I got broccoli, okay? Pretty sure you only use the leafy kind, leafy part. Also, one of my favorites, although I don't know how it's gonna pan out in a shake or a smoothie, is I got cauliflower. I love cauliflower. So maybe some sort of combination of the two because in the normal recipes that you see in the, in the supermarket, these are usually together. It's a really good combination. The only addition I could imagine that would really make it nice would be some yellow squash. Also, I got some bell peppers. Um, in my youth, I worked on a farm as a kid and I picked peppers. Now, the odd thing is I can't stand cooked peppers but I love to eat them raw. So this should be interesting with the addition of those. And in addition to that, I got a bunch of carrots and I got the baby carrots because they're pre-washed, they're pre-peeled. So I can pretty much probably just toss them in. And then like I, to go circle back around, I got the non-organic spinach, the baby spinach and the spinach. And for the same price, I got twice the volume. Um, and one of my popular fillers for the morning, because it's easy, I got my bananas. But also, I got a cantaloupe. Um, so basically $3 for this cantaloupe. And I can probably get six shakes out of that. And that's going to end up being at least 20% of the total volume. So I'll go away for now. I'll come right back after I blend the breakfast. And what I did is I put raspberries, blueberries, um, blackberries. I put grapes. Um, the only thing that's not in here that ordinarily would be is a strawberry. And I'm going to put walnuts in there as the booster. So I'll come back after I blend this up. And then I'm going to do my first lunch specifically shake. And we're going to use broccoli, cauliflower, bell peppers, uh, maybe a little bit of spinach, and the baby carrots. So I'll talk to you in a few minutes. Thanks. Okay. So I made the breakfast one with all the fruits, um, orange juice as the liquid. And then I made the lunch one out of cauliflower, bell pepper, um, the romaine, because I had to get rid of the last of the romaine. I used some walnuts, I used some carrots. So basically every vegetable that I used before. And 
I went ahead and tasted it, and it's not bad, but it's kind of odd. Oh, I used bell peppers too. It's kind of odd that the overpowering taste was cauliflower with a touch of the bell pepper. Um, it's almost one of those deals where if you had some salt and pepper, it would probably be awesome, but that's not how we're doing this. So it's gotta be without any spices or at least spices that could possibly harm the process. So you need a lot of work on the lunch dinner ones and the breakfast ones. It's just, that's incredible. But I understand you can't drink these three times a day because even though the sugars are natural, it's still a lot of sugars and still a lot of calories. So if you're looking to lose weight with the process, you're going to have to do some of these as well. So that's where we're at, and I'll see you next time.